跟 framework 的呃成员之间的互动，所以欢迎他。
this is where we use PHP. We populate, I mean, we put data into these merge fields from PHP. And finally, we write the generated document to disk. And we can choose either a .x file, a .doc file, an HTML file, an RTF file, a PDF file, or for the purists, even a text file. Live docs works like this. This is what repeating what I said on the previous slide is a picture. Here, here we have our template. Here we have our data. In the middle we have our live doc service. And at the end of the chain we have our produced document. So in other words, template plus data equals document. That's quite easy to understand what I think. The first step, as I said, is to create a template using a word processor. In this particular case, we are using Microsoft Word, a slightly older version, but I'm sure you'll recognize it nevertheless. In Microsoft Word, you can enter merge fields here. This merge field is called licensee. This merge field is called company. This merge field is called software. And to insert these merge fields, Microsoft Word very conveniently um, supplies this dialog box, where we simply have to click on merge field and then click on OK, and we can already use our template with live docs. So here's the part we've been waiting for, the part where we actually see some PHP code for the first time. And this is as easy as it is to generate a document using live docs. The first two lines, if you've been using PHP 5.3 with namespaces, it should be obvious. We're using the components from the Zen framework. On the third line, we get an instance of the mail merge object. We're supplying our username and password. We are then setting the template that we created in Microsoft Word, and we're assigning these merge field names with this data. So, for example, the merge field city gets the data type A. The merge field country gets the, the data type Y. We then have to create the document and finally get the document back from the server. We have to retrieve the document. That means we ask the backend server for the document and we get it back um, and assign it to the variable document. Finally, we write the variable document, which contains final data to this, and we've already finished our file. The resulting PDF file looks just like this. And if this were a little bit bigger, you could see the merge fields have been populated with the data that we specified in PHP. Okay? Is that easy to follow? What's happening? Is what's happening here understandable? You put your hand in the air if you understand what's going on here. Right. That's quite easy to follow. You see how easy it is. You're simply specifying a template, specifying the data, creating a document, getting the document back from the server, and writing it to disk. To do, to do something like this using the programmatic approach would take you several days. And using the HTML approach would take at least half a day. The beauty of Live Docs is that it supports many file formats. So, whether you want a PDF file, a .docx file, a .doc file, an .rtf file, or an .html file, you simply change the parameter of retrieve document, and that's all you have to do. So, you have multiple output formats with only one CPI. Whether you want a PDF file or a .docx file, it's the same program logic. You simply have to change one parameter. And that's one of the coolest things, in my opinion, about Firefox. So in the first sample, we've looked at basic data structures. We've looked at how we can assign strings and integers to template, and then generate a document using these data points. As a second example, I'd like to show you how to Pass complex data structures, such as an array of data. In this template, which is a template to create a telephone bill for a German telephone company, we've got merge fields, like I showed in the first example. Here, the phone number of the customer will be inserted. Here, the month of the 
the invoice will be inserted. Here the standing in charge of the contract will be inserted. But in this template, we've got something new, something the other template didn't have. This section of the table will be repeated for each and every item in the array. The rows between this character, this card A character, and this character here will be repeated. So, let's look at the PHP code. The first few lines are similar, I think, from the previous example. We are using the components, getting an instance of the object, specifying the table, uh, sorry, specifying the template. But in the next few lines, we've got something new. We are generating a multi-dimensional array of connection data. Each record in the array contains the telephone number, the duration of the telephone call, and the cost of the telephone call. And we can have an unlimited amount of records in this array, as illustrated here. We are then assigning this array to the variable, sorry, to the merge field connection, creating a document, getting the document back from the server as a PDF file, and writing the document to disk. The resulting document looks like this. Here we've got our basic data structures, the telephone number of the customer has been inserted and the month has been inserted, and this section of the table has been repeated. And there's one row here for each record in the array. If you look again at the template, you can see this section here, where everything that's between these two points has been repeated, in this case, four times. So, so far we've looked at passing strings and integers, and we've looked at passing uh, more complex data structures, such as arrays. Another really interesting application is to pass image data to a template. Let's have a look at some PHP code again. The first sections are obvious by now we understand what's going on. Here we've got the JPEG file. We want to insert the contents of this JPEG file into the template. So the first thing we have to do is check whether we've already uploaded the JPEG file to the backend server. If the file exists on the server, uh, sorry, the file does not exist on the server, we upload the image. Again, we specify the template, we specify our simple data here, and finally, this is a new part of this sound application, we specify the photo file which contains the image data. We create the document, and again, we treat the document as a PDF file, and write the binary data to disk in the file document.php. And here is a very, very simple output. Um, this is the content of the uh, JPEG file, and that's the simple binary data. So, just as it is possible to generate multiple file, multiple word processing file formats, we can also create the document or generate the document as a bitmap file. So instead of saving the document to a PDF file or a .x file or a .doc file, we can save the document to a binary file, such as a PNG, a ping, or a TIFF, or a bitmap. This works in a very similar way. Let's again look at the code. The first lines are very simple. We're supplying the template name, we're supplying the merge data, the merge field data, we're creating the document, but this time, instead of calling retrieve document, we're calling get all bitmaps. And get all bitmaps returns an array of binary data. Each record in the array is one page of the document. So, in the case of a two-page document, Bitmaps would contain an array containing two records. The key of the record is the page name, and the value of the record is the binary data con containing the bitmap data of the page. So, then we simply have to loop through the bitmap array, um, right?
writing the page number in the file name and writing the binary data to the file. And the result is then two files containing the two pages of, of, of our document. Just as it was possible to create multiple file formats when you create word processing documents, it's equally possible to create multiple bitmap file formats by simply changing one parameter. So when we want a BMP file, a GIF file, a JPEG, a PNG or a TIFF file, we simply have to change one parameter. And as far as I know, in PHP there is no other toolkit that offers that type of functionality. LiveDocs offers two ways to handle templates. The way we've been looking at so far is called the local template approach. Here the template is submitted with each request to the backend server. This can be wasteful because very often we have one template which remains the same for many years, but each request simply submits um, new data to the template. So instead of sending the template on every request to the backend server, should the template not change, it's possible to upload the template once using upload template and then reference the template on all further requests. And this is a typical application for live dots. You have one template which contains the template of the telephone bill. And for all your customers, you want to create invoices, but you want to use the same template. So you can upload the template once, and for each customer, you can then create the document without having to transfer the template back to the server on every request. Thus, you can speed up the document generation. Uh, LiveDocs supports quite a number of file formats. The input formats, those are the formats used by the templates, can be .x, .rtf, or our internal format, which we call the TX text control format. We can output documents in a number of formats. For example, we've got .x, .html, .rtf, .pdf, the internal text control format, and text. And remember, when you want a .x file or a .doc file, it doesn't really matter. You simply set one parameter when you call the retrieve document method. Images, so documents, can be exported to a number of file formats. For example, bitmap, gif, png, that's right, jpeg, png, and tiff. And you can insert images um, in these file formats. I'd like to show you now a case study. In my free time in Germany, when I'm not programming, I like to organize conferences. About conferences, the same size as this one, around 300 attendees. And we use Lightbox, sorry, and these are the two conferences that I organize. We have one in the UK and one in the north of Germany. And if you're either in Europe, you're in Europe, but either of these times, you're very welcome to attend. And we use live docs here to create the attendee badges, these things. We use live docs to create these. And the voting posters, which I'll talk about in a moment. And these here are our badges. We do them slightly differently. They're an A4 piece of paper folded twice with the name of the attendee, the organization to which he belongs, and the URL of the organization. And these logos are our sponsors. And we use live docs to create one PDF file containing 300 to 350 pages, and each page is an attendee badge. And then we print these badges out, we fold them up twice, and we put them inside little document holders. I'd be interested to know how you make these badges, because I don't think we use live docs. Um, we also have so called vote posters. At our conferences, the people who attend the conference decide upon which talks may be held. So all the attendees in advance can submit their talks, their sessions, and we print out vote posters like this. Here the title of the talk comes in, the description of the talk, and the name of the speaker, and the type of presentation. And then we use live docs to create these vote posters. Then each 
member or each attendee at the conference gets four stickers, four little stickers. And he or she can stick these stickers on the posters that he finds most interesting. Okay? And then the posters with the, the, the posters with the most stickers get chosen, and then those speakers can present their talk. So therefore, the people at the event decide upon what they give, not the organizers. Um, I've got some sample applications. I'd like to show you the box running in real life, and I'll do that at the end of the session. If you want to learn more about live talks, and if you want to find out how you can really save a lot of time next time you have to generate a PDF file for a project, next time you have to generate an invoice, a quotation, or any other document a web developer has to produce at some point in his career as a web developer, take a look at live docs. I'll be publishing these slides in my blog here, phplivedocs.org, this afternoon or this evening. And you can download the slides and look at the documentation. I even have a, a virtual machine, a VMware virtual machine, which contains a complete environment that you can use to get started with live docs. It's simply a matter of downloading the 500 megabyte file, starting it in VMware, and then playing with the applications. The source code to live docs is on my GitHub repository, it's part of the Zen framework, as I said, and this is my branch where I will develop the latest and greatest features. And then that branch gets merged back into the Zen framework to the source code, whenever Matthew feels like it, the, one of the project leader of the Zen framework. And you can learn more about live docs um, at this web address, and you can sign up for a username here. So before I show you some live docs, uh, so I'll show you some live sample applications. I'd like to let you know that here at Taipei we're looking for some really, really talented PHP developers. So if you love PHP, and if you love the Zen framework, and you want to work with an international team of specialists, part in Germany, part in Taipei, I want to talk to you. We pay very good salaries, and if you really, really love PHP, talk to me. Maybe you've got a job for you. So finally, in the last seven and a half minutes, I'd like to show you um, a sample application. We'll start with, the, probably won't have time for all four of them, but we'll start with the license agreement. is 
the license agreement directly, and the document, I'm sorry, that's the one, the previous one, the telephone one, wrong now here. Yeah. That's the file we've just created, and again you can see the sections of the table down here, uh, which have been repeated. And that's a PDF file. If you want a doc file, you simply say, uh, give me a PDF, give me a doc file. Um, the conference part, uh, that's a very basic version of the conference class that we use uh, for our conference that's in Germany and in the UK. And we insert a photo, a photo of the delegate on that class. Here's the JK image, and we recognize this gentleman. And we're going to insert this image into the document. Which we'll the code again, it should be obvious what this does by now. Thank you. 
I'm going to pose the question in Chinese and English, so I brought my friends along with me. Yeah, please. Uh, what's the support for the life course?
就要想聊一聊。那我们 Line Talk 呢，还有就是报名的时间，请大家在五十分的时候可以准时回来现场。那有兴趣的朋友可以在外面报名，谢谢。